starts in 10 minutes. I got to shoot on marathon day, early in the morning to see the setting up during the marathon and have James actually run in the marathon the way Billy Evans did for so many years and does and have Mark there in that location. Remarkable privilege. The help that we got from the marathon and from the athletic association and their partnership was incredible. We had units spread out throughout the race and kind of stood in the wings, kind of backstage, so to speak and waited for our moments when the BAA would allow us to come out and do our filming. We wanted to be respectful of being there, but also try to recapture some of the pageantry on Boylston. And then really, we did the bulk of our workout at a, at a set, because we wanted to be respectful, and the inevitability of what we're recreating is, is traumatizing. Today, we're here, we call the Boylston Street set. It's basically a, uh, a little mock-up of two main parts where the two uh, explosions were in the day. We recreated the exact finish line area from 2013. Eddie Jacobs has his own rental company and he sets this up every year for the marathon. The finish line is mine. Um, the bridge, the bleachers, the grandstand, the uh, timer's tent that you're seeing is all stuff that we provide for the marathon. So with talks from the BAA and with him, they kind of agreed to keep everything out of storage for another few months so we could shoot this down here. Our set is about a thousand feet long. We put the two sets exactly the same distance apart that they were on Boylston Street. So the visual effects people, when they do their long shots, will have both sets exactly in scale to each other. You can see all the green up on the walls. Uh, that's green screen so we can replace digitally the sets that we uh, find is more economical to put in digitally than you know, actually building physically. They do a, a laser survey of the entire real set on Boylston Street, and then they can actually put that in when they need to uh, in, with the areas that are green. We can map in the buildings, the shops, and actually recreate that environment pretty much exactly um, and marry it to our asphalt and our, you know, kind of our construction. We matched all of the granite to the way it was done on really on Boylston Street. All these squares of granite were purchased. It matches exactly. Uh, we, you can see the gum spots we matched, the mailboxes, the, just the, the age around the, the lampposts. Everything's exactly where all the, the uh, plates and the uh, grills are in the street and pavement, all matched to Boylston Street. We even had a painter, we painted the white stripes on the street, and she went around with a caulking gun and put the little cracks in the white paint to make it look like it's been here a long time. It's amazing. We look, walked on the set and we're like, wow, this is Boylston Street. The Marathon Sports was built 100% accurate. It was, it was a working store. There was employees in there. And you know, all the shoes were on display, all the flyers, all the ads, all the, the clothing displayed. You know, I walked out of the store, literally felt like I was on Boylston Street, took a left, and I thought I was going to go home. Like it was, it's just unbelievable what they did.